music are you guys doing? I never even. I know y'all live and breathe well, it to the We music. book it as a country band, but we do everything from. I got to I get that tape, and got a tape player. I, it's right inside the door. And I saw it in the white box. That white little basket is the kind of their tape or their B fifty two. You got a tape player? Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you get a feel for what it is. Have y'all got somebody writing stuff for you? Or you? We've got just about everybody in Nashville writing for us, including me. We have about a half dozen original songs we do now. Yeah, six or seven. I mean, I counted lately. So we're getting ready to drop. Uh, like that. Oh, we, we are. Yeah, because that's not going to get recorded. How much can you guys rehearse? Do you go someplace like if you're going to do it, they you know, get there early in the afternoon and play through and you just have to make it and do it and go to the next day? Some places, if you got a multiple day engagement, they'll let you come in and rehearse in the afternoon. Some places won't. When we're in Nashville, we have a, a facility that we use there where they keep a drum set and PA and everything. But out on the road, it's, it's tough. You have to get it ready before you get on the ground. Yeah. The last big rehearsal we had, I guess, was uh, the night that I joined the band. <laughs> on Tuesday, April 20th, we rehearsed for six hours, and I, I learned 32 songs I'd never played before, and then we left town the next morning at 9 and that's how played that goes. night. And that's how it goes. That's in, that's Nashville for you. That's, that's professional musicians. <clears throat> you get your shit to bang and get on down the way. Get on down the way. <laughs> Get up on stage. A lot of times, people are called for jobs, and the first time they play with the band is on stage. Mm -hmm. um, Trace Atkins, a keyboard player, is married to my wife's hairdresser, and she told told the story about him getting a call and and flying from I think they were from Seattle or someplace down, and, and actually joining the band on tour. And first time he ever played any of his stuff was on stage. You hope you can grab it tight and hear what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah, you get tapes and you get charts. You learn to read the Nashville number system charts real fast, which are very helpful, but a lot of you don't see them a lot outside of Nashville. Most of the songs that we've got that, that are the guy songs, the songs that me and Jimmy sing, we've never rehearsed and we don't have charts on them. It's in C, follow me. It's typical, but that's, that's, typical, that's typical of every place else other than Nashville, yeah. where you just say, hey, they just throw it at you and say, oh, it's got a bridge that goes to, you know, a minor and, and F, and then you go back into the main chorus or something, and that's about all you get. In Nashville, it's a little more structured, but the caliber of musicians is so much higher than you'll find anywhere else that people can pick things up just like that. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, we hope so. A lot of times you'll end up, you'll listen to something in the van and make a chart and then try and play it at sound check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> a lot of the cuts. Just do what's got to be done down there. Yeah. Press your mic this way. On the right. Yeah. The second door. I think there's a wide, you know. Yeah. Other than what you got now. Let's just plug that in. Weed. Is this thing on?